the general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, Xi Jinping, who has centralized power to a degree not seen since the dictatorship of Mao Zedong, now speaks openly of China moving closer to the center stage, building a socialism that is superior to capitalism, and replacing the American dream with the Chinese solution. China is no longer hiding its strength, nor biding its time. From the perspective of its communist rulers, China's time has arrived. The People's Republic of China is now engaged in an economic, an aggressive, orchestrated, whole of government, indeed whole of society campaign to seize the commanding heights of the global economy and to surpass the United States as the world's preeminent technological superpower. Although Americans hope that trade and investment would liberalize China's political system, the fundamental character of the regime has never changed. As its ruthless crackdown of Hong Kong demonstrates once again, China is no closer to democracy today than it was in 1989 when tanks confronted pro-democracy protesters in Tiananmen Square. It remains an authoritarian, one-party state in which the Chinese Communist Party wields absolute power, unchecked by popular elections, the rule of law, or an independent judiciary. The CCP surveils its own people and assigns them social credit scores, employs an army of government censors, tortures dissidents, and persecutes religious and ethnic minorities, including a million Uyghurs detained in indoctrination and labor camps. If what happened in China stayed in China, that would be bad enough. But instead of America's changing China, China is leveraging its economic power to change America. As this administration's China strategy recognizes, the CCP's campaign to compel ideological conformity does not stop at China's borders. Rather, the CCP seeks to extend its influence around the world, including on American soil. All too often, for the sake of short-term profits, American companies have succumbed to freedom and openness in the United States. Sadly, examples of American business bowing to China are legion. The CCP has launched an orchestrated campaign across all of its many tentacles in Chinese government and society to exploit the openness of our institutions in order to destroy them, to secure a world of freedom and prosperity for our children and our grandchildren, the free world will need its own version of a whole of society approach in which the public and private sectors maintain their separation but work together collaboratively to resist domination and to win the contest for the commanding heights of the global economy.